in a significant achievement for India's space exploration, Aditya L1, the nation's inaugural solar observatory has achieved a major milestone by reaching its designated orbit. The spacecraft had successfully entered Lagrange Point 1, L1, strategically positioned in the Earth-Sun system, where gravitational forces are balanced. This stable location allows Aditya L1 to commence its five-year mission of closely observing the Sun. Launched on September 2, 2023 by the Indian Space Research Organization ISRO, Aditya L1 has a crucial mission to observe and enhance our understanding of the Sun. Terming it as yet another landmark achievement, Prime Minister Narendra Modi in a post on X said, India's first solar observatory Aditya L1 reaches its destination. It is a testament to the relentless dedication of our scientists in realizing among the most complex and intricate space missions. I join the nation in applauding this extraordinary feat. We will continue to pursue new frontiers of science for the benefit of humanity. Speaking to reporters on the successful placing of Aditya L1 into its destination orbit, ISRO chairman S. Somanath said, What we have achieved today is the exact placement based on our measurement and very correct prediction of the velocity requirement. Right now, in our calculation, it is at the right place, but we are going to monitor for the next few hours to see whether it is at the right place. This event was only placing the Aditya L1 in the precise halo orbit. So it was moving towards a high orbit, but we had to do a little bit of corrections to put it at the right place. So something like a 31 meter per second velocity has to be given cumulatively to, in, uh, to the satellite to keep it at the right uh, orientation. So basically it's a halo orbit, it's an orbit which uh, moves around L1 point with a size of 6 lakh kilometer in one direction, uh, 2 plus lakh in one, another dimension, 3, 1 lakh in one lakh kilometer in another dimension. So it formed like an egg. So in this new orbit, it has to be placed, it has to be very precisely put. If you don't do the correction today, it will escape from this point. Okay, we will not allow it to escape if it does not happen. There are some contingencies, but I am only telling mathematically it can escape. So that has been very precisely done. Ultimately, what we achieved today is exact placement based on our measurement and very correct prediction of the velocity requirement. The computer decided to cut off at the accelerometer based cutoff has happened. So uh, right now it is at the, in our calculation it is at the right place. But we are going to monitor for next few hours to see whether it is at the right place. Then if it is slightly drifted, we may have to do a little bit of correction. Now, and we don't expect that to happen. President Draupadi Murmu highlights the significant participation of women scientists in ISRO mission, saying it takes women empowerment onto a higher orbit. Union Home Minister Amit Shah hailed the country's first solar mission craft, Aditya L1, reaching its destination and said it was yet another milestone in Bharat's journey through space. On ISRO's solar mission, Aditya L1 entering hello orbit, External Affairs Minister Dr. S. Jay Shankar also reacts. No, I, I think it's a great feat. You know, last time I came here, I went to the uh, that double uh, I double S. Uh, the, that Institute of Space uh, Science Technology. So I've seen the space uh, program for many years. I've been myself uh, earlier member of Space Commission. I think a moment of great pride for us, uh, just like Chandrayaan was. This recent achievement follows India's historic moon mission Chandrayaan 3, which successfully landed on the lunar surface on August 23 of the previous year. Notably, India became the sole country to achieve a soft landing on the moon's south pole. Entering the orbit around Lagrange Point 1 L1 in a distinct challenge compared to orbiting other celestial bodies. This accomplishment of Aditya L1 is considered a critical aspect of the mission. The spacecraft will now spend the remainder of its mission life orbiting irregularly around L1 in a plane approximately perpendicular to the line connecting Earth and the Sun, as explained by an ISRO scientist. While Lagrange points offer relative stability, they are not entirely immune to gravitational influences. Nevertheless, these points remain the preferred locations for space missions focused on observing and studying the sun, allowing for optimal conditions to conduct scientific investigations. See, the scientific aspect of uh, this particular mission has already been well described. 
because uh, it is going to look at the solar coronal mass ejection cme basically using a primary instrument called the the vlc which is uh, developed by indian institute of astrophysics and uh, this will uh, look at the corona part of the uh, uh, sun almost three times its diameter yeah. distance away and uh, corroborating that there will be other measurements uh, which is again uh, by a payload called suit which is an uh, which is going to look at the entire disk of the sun in uh, ultraviolet in various frequency bands which is already images have been we have already put out in the website we also have particle measurements uh, in the M what is coming out of the sun by the payload called the papa then we also have x-ray measurements which is in low energy and high energy x-ray measurement we also have magnetometer which looks at the space magnetic field which is coming for because of this ejections so it is a and so eh? so yeah solar wind is essentially the particle uh, emission which is happening so we look at all of this in a in a very correlated manner which is very unique part of this mission so everybody is looking at it yeah because uh, understanding sun is not important for india alone it's center for the entire global so this is what precisely after chandrayantri landing also our honorable prime minister told chandrayantri is for the whole of the world not for india alone so the solar mission aditya l1 is also for the whole of this uh, world for all of us to understand and make use of this scientific importance so here the Im impact is on the space weather you know space weather is more <laughs> controlled by such activities especially the uh, behavior of the uh, sun which affects our magnetic external fields and then it's uh, impact more on northern latitude and southern latitude which is more dominant in southern latitude northern latitudes and of course southern latitude. not much in the equatorial region so it is more dominant for areas other than india precisely to to be technically correct okay. so that way a lot of people are interested uh, to understand this effect so we look forward to lot of scientific outcome come in the coming days at least 5 years of life is guaranteed with the fuel left out in the satellite also subscribe to one india channel and never miss an update